West Virginia, the Mountaineers, Mountain Mama. I, I posted a schedule prediction the other day, and I said that West Virginia transparently would go 1-11 and 11 this football season. I want to apologize to West Virginia fans. I have a, by the way, 48th best recruiting class in 2023 is terrible. I want to apologize to West Virginia fans because this is not a, a, a boat of hate towards West Virginia. Um, Dante Stills, who was the, the lifeblood of this team, is gone. Um, Jordan Jefferson, gone. Austin, gone. You're looking at a, a, a lot of pieces that are gone. Your, your entire corner section, all the corners are gone. The run game's good. The run game is really good. I'll give you that. Your quarterback situation, maybe the worst in the Big 12. And what is worse than all of this, all of this, is your head coach is terrible. Bryce Ford Wheaton, Sam James graduated. Reese Smith transferred. I mean, the, my, in my notes as I was going through, it was like, huh, I wonder what I could I wonder what I could build together for this team to be good. Frazier's great. The, the the offensive line is solid. I like the offensive line. I like the running game. I think that's going to bode well for you. However, however, numbers wise, you've lost your top four wide receivers, your wide receiver coach, your top two tight ends, and your coordinator. You have the worst quarterback in the league. Your offensive line is great. Your running back room is great. That's all you have on the offense. That's not a good thing. And your schedule doesn't help you out very much. Uh, And some of you have turned the video off by now. I get it. I understand why. I want to let you know I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at Neil Brown. West Virginia may be the easiest place to win in the Big 12. I miss when LSU played in Morgantown and the place was rocking and everybody was glued to Morgantown. Remember that regular season game? That was awesome. I don't think you should keep rooting for West Virginia to win. At some point this year, you have to just have to decide, okay, we just need to suck so that Neil Brown can be fired and somebody else competent can win at West Virginia. Because I think anybody can. It's an easy place to win. Historically, nobody's been as bad as Neil Brown since the 1970s. Penn State's a loss. Duquesne's a win. Congrats. It's the only one you're going to get. Pittsburgh's a loss. Texas Tech might go to the Big 12 championship. It's a loss. TCU just played for a national championship. You've started one and four, and then you have a bye week to think about it. I don't think anybody can argue that West Virginia is starting one and four. At Houston, they're bad. Uh, They're just not great. I think you lose. Oklahoma State, they're not great. You're worse. At UCF, they're a great, they're an eight and four team this year. You're going to lose. BYU at home. Maybe you get lucky. I think you lose. At Oklahoma, definitely a loss. Cincinnati at home. Maybe you got a shot. Maybe you beat Houston, Oklahoma State, Cincinnati and go 4-8. and eight. At Baylor, you lose. I, don't, I find no joy in this, West Virginia fans. But Neil Brown is a really, really bad coach. He had the 47th best offense in the nation last year. 63rd best defense. 69th best team, nice, in college football. Your scoring defense, 116th. That's bad. Yards per play given up defensively, 109th in the country. You give up six yards per play. 111th in passing defense, and you lost all your bad corners, and you gave up more explosive plays than all but 10 teams in the NCAA. And offensively, 51st in scoring, 80th in yards per play, 112th in yards per attempt passing the ball, and that's not going to get any better. 102nd in QB rating. I take no joy in this, West Virginia, but you're going to lose a lot of games this season. The schedule's not easy. Schedule's not easy. You lost all your corners. You lost all your wide receivers. Your line's back. That's good. Your running backs are back. That's good. I don't even know if you have a quarterback good enough to hand the ball off. I don't enjoy this. I don't enjoy this. Your defense is, was, was really, really bad last year. Let's just six yards per play is absurdly, absurdly bad. <sighs> I can't help you. I wish I could. I've always liked West Virginia. I, I, I like Neil Brown. He's a nice guy. Neil Brown's a nice guy. Bad football coach. Bad football coach. So the sooner West Virginia makes the, makes the decision to go 1-11, and 
one win, 11 losses, and move away from Neil Brown, the better here. That's all I'm asking you to do. Lose with valor, cut your losses, and go home. I'm going home. I'm leaving my studio because that's it. That's, that's the whole show today. Come back tomorrow. John Kurtz joins us. You know John Kurtz. Get pumped. Put it in the comments. Say, yay, John Kurtz. Oh, man, West Virginia, you made me sad. This has been, and it always will be. Thank you so much for making it your first listen every single day. You guys make this so fun and easy. I love you all. It's your number one place for serious Big 12 content. This has been, it always will be, Locked On. Thanks again for making it your first listen every single day. Dose Grande.